back to filming. Uh, I don't think I filmed at all yesterday. Um, put my door up on the trash can. <laughs> uh, I have a big dent in here. But you can obviously tell it got pushed in right here. Um, I'm fixing some rust here anyway, so I took this molding off. And I think what I'm going to do is try to cut it at the very bottom of that. I'm going to try to leave those holes. Um, I'm just going to replace the whole bottom. It's uh, got some rust through here, which also probably means all this is super thin. That's obviously gone. So, um, that's what I'm working on. And I think I'm going to do the outside first. And then when I weld this bottom piece on, I'll just butt it up and get it to fit. But hopefully this isn't too hard to detach right there. It's kind of a... I'm trying not to mess with... I don't want to get up into here. Obviously that's a little high anyway, but... I don't want to get into here too much. This structure looks alright. So I'm going to see if I can cut it back here. And peel that outside skin off. But I need to measure a bunch because I want to make sure my door shuts properly. So that's what I'm working on. I'm going to try to pop this dent out first and then get going. Right. Back to it. Um, this is an outside piece of the bedside I had. I had to bend this bottom flange. Um, you know, I used some angle iron in the end of the table. Um, this was had some spot welds in it. I gotta weld that up. Um, I had that metal, that's why I'm using it. But this is what I took off. And I know it doesn't look that bad from that side, but this side you can see all that water's been sitting up in there just rusting out. And then that whole corner's rusted out, so I was gonna have to mess with it anyway, so that's what she looks like. Um, I had a nice dit here in the middle. You can kind of see it there. I'm going to try to hammer that out. But I'm trying to make sure the door gaps are all right. Um, that way my door shuts. So, taking my time on it a little bit. I didn't really film anything in a couple of days. Um, so, hopefully, I didn't get anything on that lens. But, I don't know. Been grinding wells down. Not the best. But, I'm going to fill this corner. I'm going to smooth it out with a little Bondo. That's obviously going to be covered up by the mat. Um, but it's hard to get in, grab some of these welds down. They're not the best. But I got to get some paint matched. So I'd say that's all good. Um, I need to grind. I had to make up some pieces and fill in this cap corner. Um, which actually seems okay. I'm going to grind it down and get it all to fit better. So, I need some seam sealer. I'm just going to throw some seam sealer in this gap. I don't like how big it is, but that rocker didn't fit very well at all. Uh, I need some edge primer. So, that's what I've been doing. Um, I'll see. I don't know what you've seen under here, but I still got to grind all those welds down on those cap corners. Or cap uh, supports. So, the side is close to being done. I'm going to hang my door. I cut the bottom of the door off. I need to fit that. Get my gaps right. Tack in my panel. And then replace the inner panel also. So, that's where I'm at. It's been a lot of grinding and welding and things that I like at first and then don't like days into it and I still have to do this side but I think I'm gonna maybe go up to LMC and get their little patch panel I don't know I haven't totally decided I maybe I can make all that corner look all right we'll see uh, so yeah I don't know, maybe I can make that piece. Who knows? That's where I'm at. It's about to rain. It's sprinkling on me right now. But the other side is next. Uh, 
So this is next. Um, I don't have that inner piece. I would love to have it, to tell you the truth. The more I look at it, maybe I'll try to go buy that. It really helped. And it comes up to about there, so. Dang it. Maybe I will. I think that piece is like 60 bucks, though. Let's see. It sucks that I don't need to replace it all the way back here. I'm back. I haven't been filming lately. Just not good at it. I told you guys. Um, this is the inside panel. I cut off all that rust. This is my replacement panel. I'll be working on that maybe later today. This is my new patch panel I put on today. You can tell there's kind of a bend in here. I couldn't really get a hammer in there to hammer it out. So, you know, it, st it looks better. I got some of the bend out. It looks better than it did before. But that's my patch panel. I need to fit all this up. I just want to make sure it doesn't hang down low enough that it, it hits on the rocker panel when you shut the door. Because uh, if you've done this before, a lot of these rocker panels, or a lot of these panels just don't fit <laughs> well. They're definitely not like the originals. So uh, hopefully maybe get that tacked on today. I just wanted the door fitted up. So that I saw my gaps and I know that this sticks out a little farther but that's how it was before so you know these trucks originally weren't amazing body lines and gaps and things like that so that's what I'm working on it fits all right kind of wish it came down a little more but that's really where it was so I think my door in general the front's gonna come down a little but it, it actually just looks the worst right here. But that's kind of where it was caved in a little. So I'm going to try to hammer some of that out. So that's what I'm working on today. Let me get that tacked up. I really want to get this side down. I'm not over metal work, but I'm kind of over metal work right now. So I want to get all that on. Um, get the right paint for it. Get that painted to match hopefully I told you I'd stop filming my neck but I keep doing it all right back to filming <laughs> I don't know this video is not turning out how I plan I plan on filming a lot more but um, so I got this patch panel welded on not the prettiest tack welds but they work it's not super structural filled in a couple holes down here um, the whole the front was pretty solid. I just left it and my patch panel wasn't long enough anyway, so This patch panel fit Okay Kind of like rat doesn't meet up with the line that great. I don't think um, so I'll, I'll grind all that down. I need to hammer and dolly this. I don't know if you can see that but I Kind of left that open so that this flange could sit behind it so I'm gonna hammer and dolly that flat and then throw some spot welds in there I drilled some of these little holes hopefully if any water sits in there which will obviously sit in there that's why it rusted out maybe it'll drain out maybe it'll just sit there and rust out again who knows but that's how she's looking so she's closing I was real afraid since it wasn't uh, it wasn't fitting amazing, but I wanted to make sure my door shut. It kind of sinks in here, which kind of bothers me. Um, I'm going to try to pull it out a little, but it was kind of caved in here, so that's why. <coughs> Woo, sorry. A little spider on the custom. So, that's what I'm working on. I'd like to get... Uh, uh, I'm about to go on a bike ride today, so I can't really finish it, but... I'd like to get uh, my welds grinded down and then maybe throw some etch primer on there tomorrow. Um, I might tape everything off. That way, I'm going to try to get some paint that matches. That way, it doesn't stand out too ridiculous. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to paint this up here. I've been slowly picking at this 
I don't know. I haven't seen on the inside where it'd be messed up that's bad, but they obviously thought they should use some Bondo on it. It looks horrible. It drives me nuts. Oh, maybe right there. That must be where they But it looks like death. So I might end up uh, cleaning that up a little bit. I just hate all that. I'd almost rather it just be bare metal than that. Bondo job. So that'll be another day. But I'm gonna try to I'm gonna get some paint that matches out here. So maybe I'll clean this up a little bit. I wanted to leave it all original paint, but it's not original paint anyway, so it don't matter. So that's what I'm working on. I'm really gonna try to start filming a little more. I just I haven't been filming that much. Um so if you guys want to watch me pick at some of this, go for it. Uh, I don't know how far that goes in. It's not even that get much of a dent. I wish they would just left the dent. Obviously, it was in the 80s. I was thinking different. So that's what I'm working on. I ripped the rocker off today. There's actually some metal back here, so I was pretty happy about that. I think I'm going to leave this back. I'm going to clean it up. If it's not good metal, I'll get rid of it. I'd like to only get rid of it to here. Because I have to make all of this replacement myself. So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, so there's actually some metal in here, so that's pretty good. Which sucks, because if I had that back piece, I could just bolt that in and it would be nice. None of none of this existed on the other side. None of that existed. So, it's looking pretty good, actually. Not that bad. So that's what I'm working on. So, uh, I'm working on this side. Basically, I made this top panel, and it ran and bent and then it came to right here. Um, so I just welded this whole seam, grinded it down. Not the prettiest welds for sure. I was having problems with the welder. Um, I don't know, I wasn't uh, putting tension on the, on the wire wheel. I finally got that figured out. It kind of sucked to work on, but that's what I'm working on. Grind all that weld down. I need to make a little piece for right here. Get rid of that rust. A couple little pieces in there. Um, I did all this after I fit my rocker on, so that I know it won't it won't hit the rocker. Um, the original piece that was in here isn't the same shape as the replacement rocker, so you know, none of that stuff's perfect. But hopefully, I can make it all look pretty original when I grind it down. You don't see any of this stuff anyway, so. None of that really mattered, but I still wanted it to look alright. Alright, we're back. I haven't really been filming, like I say, everyone. Um, so the rocker panel, I got it on. I just kind of plug welded up on here. I had to tack it up here because these were pretty far away. Um, I need to fix some of those tacks. And uh, that's what she's looking like. I still need to make some little pieces in here. Weld that all up. And then this side should be fairly done I have to do a little bit of the bottom of the door but that's what she's looking like so far I need to fix this that put those cap supports on so see how it goes